let's take it a step further. The Carnival Glory crashed into the Carnival Legend. The name Legend means a narrative dealing with a happening or event, and it refers to the story of a saint's life. The word Legend literally means things to be read because the legends were read in religious houses and they contained stories of wonders and miracles. The Royal Caribbean Oasis was the third ship that was nearby when this collision occurred. The word royal means descendant from a line of kings. The Caribbean region takes its name from the indigenous people called in English Carib, which comes from a word spoken in the language used by the Taino, meaning human being. Oasis means a fertile spot in the desert, a dwelling place, a fertile place in the midst of a wasteland. An oasis is a shelter serving as a place of safety or sanctuary. Therefore, the Carnival Glory, which crashed into the Carnival Legend with the Royal Caribbean Oasis nearby, gives us this message. The removal of the flesh or body will reveal a brilliant and gorgeous appearance which is the splendor and magnificence of God. The story of the removal of the flesh or body will become a legend that is told about a saint's life that contains wonders and miracles. He is a royal human being descended from a line of kings and he shall be taken to a fertile spot in the desert a dwelling place in the midst of a wasteland and this shall serve as his place of safety and sanctuary praise yah <clears throat> exactly what the lord showed me <laughs> oh praise god that's what i said the wilderness has a tropical island it's like there is an oasis in this wilderness it's a place of safety and I believe we'll be equipped and go back the thing is in the Holy Spirit speaking now there's no way God escaped when Jesus come on earth, he didn't escape. He saw it through. He could have escaped. Those of you who just want to escape will not be taken. You have to see the mandate through that Jesus Christ has put on you as a mantle. You need to be carrying that in your heart with the Holy Spirit enabling you to go to the cross and not be afraid not to have no fear perfect love casts out all fear even if it means dying to the flesh when you go back even if it means like what happens to the witnesses that they are killed and left on the streets you can't just escape the call of God Jesus went to the cross why would we be doing or or even why would we be desiring anything but a servant is not greater than his master this is the cost this is the cost and god knows who will pay that cost he knows people's hearts But it is a free gift of redemption. So those whom you see glorified, believe on them. Believe on them that they come in the name of Jesus, that they have the fruit, 
and you will know them because they are one. Not like a church that you see now. The Lord God has not built his church. The gates of hell has prevailed against it to, up till now. But this is a church the gates of hell will not prevail against. It's resurrection glory for all the world to witness throughout the earth. The entire earth will see it and be amazed. And then some will be found because of their testimony. And those who are asleep will recognize the witnesses and the sons and daughters of God risen up for this time. It makes absolutely no difference who you are in Christ as long as you're in Christ. We all end up in the same place. That God has predestined works for you. The bride of Christ, the guests, the first fruits, the second rapture, the martyrs. We are all in called to the family of God. And the Lord is showing me about the earth and the hemispheres. There is the northern and southern hemisphere and that is separated into four quarters east, north, west and south but what I'm saying is we pray to the four winds we pray to the glorious angels to come from the four winds and battle against our, we have the same enemy we battle together alongside the angels of God who come and minister and teach those who are taken to the wilderness, equip those who are taken to the wilderness. Pray, pray to the four from the four winds of the the angels and the four winds. Pray to the Lord of the harvest that He will send out harvesters pray for the revealing of the sons and daughters of god this is the time like in revelations where the the um the prayers of the saints go up and are before the altar of god and once those prayers have come in it it then it then it all begins then the cups are overflown then they are emptied out but God's glory is manifest on earth. The enemy knows his time is short. We must seek the Lord to pray in his will, to pray in his spirit, so that we, we can be witnesses, we can be followers of Christ and be strengthened in these days. Praise the Lord.